didn't see there. I was just uh, cleaning my baby Yoda back there. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description. This is the uh, Color Corral. It is a keyboard and PC vacuum cleaner. Pretty cool. Anyway, get that out of the way. Welcome back to Troll Plays. Uh, happy to have you here. If you like the content, think about subscribing or leaving a comment. Love reading the comments. So thank you all that have commented. Uh, let's say you have a DSLR and or a GoPro, anything like that, and you want to get that feed into your OBS or your computer, either for game streaming or for something like uh, a Zoom call or uh, Microsoft Teams. And normally you would have to go and buy something like this. This is the Elgato Cam Link. What this does is it takes an HDMI signal, encodes that to USB, plug this into a USB 3.0, and you get a feed onto your stream. That's actually what I'm using right now to get my Sony camera into my PC. Uh, the cam link goes up to 4K. This is an expensive little booger that can set you back uh, quite a pretty penny. Uh, I also put a link to this in the, in the description as well in case you wanna pick this up. Uh, the thing about the Elgato cam link is you do get the Elgato support, which is top notch. They're on uh, Twitter and Reddit, uh, Instagram. You can reach out to them at any point in time and they will get back to you. However, this again is pretty expensive. So as an alternative, on Amazon, you can find these cheap little under $20 HDMI to USB video converters, just like the Cam Link. It takes an HDMI in, encodes that to USB. So you'll want to, again, plug this into USB 3.0 uh, to get the best quality you can and the highest frame rate you can. These things can be a little finicky at times, uh, as can the Cam Link, but for even a fifth of the price, uh, this is a pretty sweet little pickup. So we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna show you how to set this up. I'm gonna show you the difference between the cam link and this as far as the video quality, so you can make your own educated decision. Uh, again, links to both of these will be down in the description, as well as my sweet little keyboard cleaner. You can make your informed decision. I'll tell you a couple caveats about these as well. Let's roll the intro and we'll get into it. So as I said, uh, for something like this, uh, these video encoders, you're going to need an HDMI signal. So that means your GoPro or your DSLR will need to have a clean HDMI out, meaning when you look at the back of a camera and you look at the flip screen, it may have a bunch of uh, information around the side of it, uh, such as this one has the time I have left recording, the size of my memory card, uh, my focus, my shutter speed, all that stuff. But you don't see that on the display because it has a clean HDMI out. Now, some cameras do not offer this. For a list of those, you can go to the Elgato website and look up cameras that support clean HDMI and anything that should work with the Elgato Cam Link should also work with this sweet little HDMI capture card as well. Most of those cameras also require a micro HDMI, which is a tiny, tiny little HDMI. Uh, there's a mini HDMI, which is a little bit wider uh, but you will need to get some type of converter to get from your camera to a standard HDMI port to plug into the back of these. Uh, once you plug these in, they are pretty much plug and play. I will show you the setup in OBS as well uh, in just a minute. So let's get to the caveats of these real fast. Uh, again, the Elgato Cam Link can record up to 4K. No problem there. It's supported across pretty much every platform. Uh, but these, when you go onto Amazon, you need to actually take a look at what you're getting. So if you're on Amazon, uh, this one here, there's a lot of these that look the same, but you need to be very careful about the output resolution and frame rate of these devices. The descriptions can be a little misleading. Uh, if you see here, this one says 4K Cam Link card, USB 3.0. In your mind, you're thinking, oh, that'll record 4K, no problem. But if you scroll down in here and look at the actual specs of this thing, the input resolution, it can do 4K 30. So anything going into this needs to be 4K 30. And the supported output resolution is 1080 60. Now that's not a deal breaker for a lot of people because again, Twitch is not pushing 4K content for streaming. So just know that if you're getting this thinking you're gonna get a 4K output of this, that's not going to happen. Uh, the max of these is usually 1080p 60 frames a second, which again is 
more than enough for most everyday applications, especially if you're using this for a Zoom call or Microsoft Teams. Their encoding quality isn't really that great. So this is a great pickup. And again, for a fraction of the price, you can't really beat this uh, unless you're really into doing 4K content. There's not a whole lot of difference between the Elgato and this nameless HDMI video capture device. So just be aware of that. Uh, there are a couple of these. This one is the 4K, which does, which inputs 4K. Uh, you'll see some others like this. That's USB 2.0. Again, that's 2.0 is not going to be enough to capture 4K. So just read the descriptions, uh, read some comments. I will link to this one. This is the one that I bought and I have used it and had no issues with it at all. So we're going to get this plugged up. I'm going to jump into OBS and show you what it looks like going into the software. All right, so here we are in OBS. I do have my Sony camera going micro HDMI out into the HDMI in port of the back of the uh, cheap video capture card, as well as the cam link. Uh, I have a splitter doing that. And then that is plugged into USB 3.0 on the PC. So I have a new scene here in OBS. I'm going to hit plus to add a new source. This is a video capture device. I'm going to call this the cheap cam link. I'm going to click OK. In the drop down, uh, I'm not sure. Some of these may have different uh, wording on these. Uh, mine comes over as USB video. I do have a lot of camera devices plugged into this PC, so I have a lot of uh, selections here, but yours should be a lot smaller than this if this is all you have. So I'm going to choose USB video, and there I am. I'm going to hit device default here for the resolution. I'm going to do custom. I'm going to do 1920. Oh, it already did it. And then 1920 by 1080. And then the highest FPS available, which in this case should be 60 frames a second. However, I have noticed that this looks a little bit more framey than the cam link. So just bear with me here. Uh, you can see the color representation is fantastic. Uh, you're not really losing any uh, color signal as far as that goes. I'm going to click OK, and then you'll see that I have my cheap cam link all set up and ready to go. Uh, I can take this and uh, resize this if I need to, crop it, change the size, uh, anything that I need to do with this. It's just like any other source in OBS. So it's very simple to get up. There's no drivers to install. It is plug and play. It's fantastic. You will notice there is just a little bit of framiness uh, on some on fast movements. So. Uh, you know, again, this is for you to make an informed decision. This is extremely passable. I'm actually very, very excited about this. The fact that this is less than $20 really blows my mind. So I'm going to put this side by side with my uh, A6400. There's the A6400. And you notice there's a little bit of color difference as well. Uh, I want to make these smaller so you can see them. So on uh, the left hand side is the cheap cam link. We're going to call it that, although it's performing a little bit nicer than I had realized. And on the right is my A6400. Latency is the exact same, pretty much zero latency on these. There is a little bit of color difference, but I do have some LUTs applied to the A6400. Now, let's take this a step further and let's see if this will work with a game console, because I know that's your burning question. So now the moment of truth. I have my Nintendo Switch here, still playing Monster Hunter Rise get enough of that. Uh, I'm going to drop it in the dock here. Uh, we're going to switch to the other scene and then we'll see what happens. So if we switch to this other scene real fast, you'll notice that uh, it's got the uh, testing color bars uh, of no, no signal is what that means. So I'm going to drop the switch into the dock. We give it a second to register. Boom. There you go. Uh, I did notice that this is, again, to me, it's a tad, a tad bit framey. Um, not as smooth as my uh, Elgato internal capture card, of course. However, I mean, 20 bucks, I'm saying if you bought two of these, you're still under the price of the Elgato cam link and way under the price of an Elgato capture card. So in a pinch, if this is what you wanted to set up, if you had an old GoPro or an old DSLR that again has clean HDMI out on it, uh, this is, you could get two of these, plug in your camera and your console and you're set up for streaming. One small tweak I did find regarding audio on these uh, cheap devices. You notice that the uh, capture card is picking up the video signal from the cheap cam link. However, there is no audio coming through as you see here on the audio mixer. So in order to fix that, 
if you double click on your uh, cam link source under the properties window, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you want to use custom audio device and then make sure that it's set to digital audio interface, which is the USB digital audio from the uh, USB capture card. If I click OK on that, you'll notice that now I'm getting sound from the device uh, based on the audio mixer here. So there you have it. Uh, my recommendation for these uh, cheap little capture cards, they are super powerful for the price. Uh, again, just check out the caveats on uh, Amazon before you buy and make sure that your output resolution and FPS is what you're looking for. I would say 99.99% .99 of these are going to do 1080p, no problem. But if you're looking for 4K, you're probably gonna have to find a more viable solution such as the Elgato Cam Link, which again, I use these. Uh, I'm a big Elgato fan, but for the price, uh, it's a budget streamer. This is hands down one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Anyway, go out there, make an informed decision. I hope this video helps you to make an informed decision. And I hope you guys have a great day. I love you all. Peace.